little butterfly so this video is going to be my february wrap up slash black history month wrap up slash black author readathon wrap up so for the black readathon i had seven books on my tbr um i end up adding one later in the game so it really would have been eight um but i only read three of them <laughs> And that's okay because in reading three books, I checked off 15 prompts. I got Bingo going one read. I would have had Bingo going diagonal, but I'm posting my wrap up um, later, which isn't a problem for me because I just wanted to get regular Bingo. I told you that was my goal. If I would have read all the books, I would have got a blackout. But my goal was really just to get a Bingo, and I did. So, and I was totally comfortable with that. Um, so I read three books. For the most part, the three books that I read were pretty good. The second, one of the books that I read was not. I, I was very much disappointed, but two of out of the three is not bad. And I'm proud of myself for reading three books last month because I have really been in this, I wouldn't call it a reading slump, but it's just like I'm just not finishing books like I used to. Like I started, get a good pace, and then get towards the end and just like kind of back off. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's just because I don't want the book to end. I don't know if it's because I blame it on, oh, I just don't have time to read. But on my free time, I'm like watching TV, watching YouTube, and <laughs> I could be reading. So I don't know what to call it. It's not a reading slump, but I, I don't know what it is. I get to like the last hundred pages and, and like just back away. Getting into the books that I actually read last month, the first book that I read in French was Secret Baller Baby by Alicia Black and I gave it four stars. Did I? Yes, I did. I gave it four stars. Um, it was a novella. It was a sports romance. Um, it was workplace romance, interracial romance. I think that's all the props that I did for that one. Um, but I gave it four stars and Honestly, these types of books, I only read them for the sex. Like, nobody picks up, like, adult romance. I don't know what else you would call it. But it's not just adult romance. It's kind of like on a line, skating on the lines of erotica. No one picks up these books for the story. To be like, oh, it sounds like it's going to be a good story. You pick it up for the sex. Tell the truth. I did. Um, the only, the, but the, the great thing about this book was that it was a great story. It was a great plot along with it it wasn't just sex on every page and a lot of books mess up by doing that every page is just sex 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 and there's no real story and the sex don't even make sense there's no connection between the characters this book was not that um it follows Tania I don't know how you pronounce her name um Tania she's a, a a reporter for ESPN and she's trying to get an interview with one of these basketball players I can't even remember his name but he um, is a person that's hard to get an interview with. She got an interview and um, yeah, they had a little chemistry brewing. They had sex. They got together. And, but it's a lot of like juiciness in between the sex scenes. Like there's a lot of like juicy story telling within this small novella. It was just like, this was pretty good for a damn novella. You don't expect to get as much through a, and plot wise when you're reading a novella period. So I was surprised pleasantly. And I really enjoyed the story and it almost made me wish I'm like, well, damn, I wish this was like a prequel and there was like a whole, a full novel of this book or there was like a part two of this book because I would really love to see where the relationship goes. Like, I love this book. Um, so I would recommend it. I got it on Kindle. Um, all three of the books that I read were on my Kindle. So I don't have anything physical, but I put the pictures here. Then the second book that I read was a reread. It was a graphic novel and I think a lot of people read this book for the readathon it is bingo love by t franklin i reread it it was on hoopla that's what i read it originally um this one took care of i think it was old age old age romance uh no mature romance i'm sorry <laughs> mature romance um uh, forbidden love um the graphic novel of course um friends to lover and second chance love is what i use it as this again because this is like the second or third time i done read this um graphic novel it is so mushy and cute and sweet and usually i'm not the type that like mushy like i hate just mushy stories that's why i just don't do ya um contemporary romance it's just too mushy it's too soft for me but this was such a amazing graphic novel and it follows these two young black ladies where stars they were young when they started off um they were friends when they were younger one friend ended up 
just kind of figuring out like I like her more than a friend and then back time back then that was like an unacceptable thing um her parents found out um uh, and they moved the other girl and her family moved away because they didn't want her around it because they figured oh well no we're not gonna have you hanging around her anymore and then they end up meeting up again after they've already both gotten married both have children of their own um and then they kind of find each other again <laughs> God damn it, I feel like I'm telling the whole story. But it's so much, like, in the, it's such a cute, it's just such a cute, a, a very cute story. So yeah, uh, definitely read it. This is like my third time reading it, like I said, I, I love it. Then the last book that I read last month was Quarantine with the Celebrity Who Bought Me by Jamila, Jamila Jasper. And this is the one I didn't like. I, it, it was a no for me again this is one of those books that you really buy just for the sex scenes for the steaminess for for the plot and um it was it was a no it was a no with these books it's either you do really good or you could go real wrong real fast and that's what happened it was just um but this one i use it as rock star romance um it was interracial too but i already checked interracial all um i i I, I was on the thin line and I did use it for an age gap because she is 16 I believe they said 16 or 17 but they don't he's older than her but they don't disclose his age so I was skating on the thin line of love and hate I don't know if that one counted for that but I used it for that definitely oh and also for it, it could have counted for forbidden love a dark romance as well so she's the girl she's a 16 year old girl her parents decide that they're going to sell her to this big pop star um so they can keep their house because we're in the middle of quarantine with covid they're not working and they don't want to lose their house because they have worked so hard to get this house and they don't want to lose it um it really started off pissing me off because i'm like what i'm like so you would sell your daughter for a house a house your daughter mm, okay i don't see how this is I, I just don't understand but that's not the part that made me started to hate it i started to hate it because it was just one of those books where it's like she just gave in so easily um it started out was like oh no i don't want to do this as a fight and then she just gave in so easily and it wasn't even a fight no more it was like are you are you fucking kidding me i'm like where the fuck is the resistance where is the i'm gonna make you earn me like what the fuck like what I was just I was not happy with this book I was very much disappointed I was like very much aggravated and agitated after reading it I was like this is just the stupidest shit that I've ever fucking read and I hate to be so cruel about it but it really was it was just one of those books where it's like you would think like especially if you watch 365 on Netflix a lot of people have watched it that's why I can compare it to it's just like 360 but 365 is the this is the this is where you need to be that's that's where you need to be this was the book though this is 365 that was the book this is the goal and it's just he was holding her captive and you would think you would kind of like really resist it and try to there was no growing to love him or oh i made him work for it i really put my foot down i'm just like nah we're not doing this it was just <sighs> she gave in so easily she didn't even try to really resist it it was just too easy it was just so oh, they gonna get together and it, it it just disappointed me i wanted more of a fight i wanted more of attitude like not even attitude just i wanted more of her sticking and standing her ground and be like uh uh this shit is fucked up like no we not we not doing this uh uh what you think you got to get it just was too easy for me it just was just like a just wham bam thank you man the end and i was like thought it was gonna be like 365 is the goal if you have not read it you i mean if you had not watched that movie on netflix you need to watch it like because that's why i was i was like i was imagining that book was gonna be like this no very much disappointed and i wouldn't recommend it but yeah so that is all the books that i read for the month of february just three books nothing crazy but um it was a pretty good goal um i'm currently reading lore by alexander bracken i've been reading that all month and i need to hurry like i said i get to the end it's like the last hundred pages and then that's it because i only have like 100 pages left and i'm just like i don't i don't know i don't know what's about to happen but um i need to finish it because i bought it my neighbor upstairs his niece and she let me she she reads and i didn't know this and he let me borrow it 
he she let me borrow it like he let me borrow it but i wasn't i wasn't really like i'm gonna take it because i mean that's not yours to take and then she was like oh no it's fine you can read it i'm reading the series right now i'm like oh great cool so <laughs> i need to finish this so i can give her her book back and i don't want to hold on to it especially because i know she's like uh i gave you this book like a month ago bitch like i need my book back so so yeah i'm gonna finish that probably within this first week of march so that way it's not holding me back because I have a couple books that I really want to get to in March that I, that I want for March. So I'm going to finish that book and jump into my March TBR. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.